Whew. What a day. Okay, so uh, decided I'm going to start focusing more on starting a vlog. Um, I've run this uh, stay tube for quite a while, and I, I kind of every so often post family videos, stuff like that, and figured uh, um, use this kind of an archive for stuff I wanted to store online. And um, then um, this morning, we gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. Um, she's born with a cleft palate. Um, and um, made me uh, start thinking that this is a great opportunity to start bringing some uh, awareness to this cause. Um, there's a great organization out there called Operation Smile. The, the, I'll put the, um, the, a link right there. But, uh, um, or it might be down in the description, I'm not sure. We'll see where it ends up. Uh, but uh, Operation Smile is an organization devoted to bringing awareness and attention and donations to children in developing countries that have cleft palates and don't have all the great capabilities that we have here in the U.S. Um, one thing I learned today is that um, I, it really isn't a life-threatening disease, per se. That's a, a chromosomal abnormality, actually, uh, uh, more than it is a disease. Um, more like X-Men, per se, which is kind of cool, I think. Uh, but uh, anyway, um, uh, a lot of people in third world countries, developing countries, and other areas of the world that do not have the facilities we have here in the United States and uh, more developed areas of the world um, live with this their entire life. And um, that just breaks my heart. I mean, seeing this in my own daughter, that's something that, um, that really gets to me. So um, I'm going to start devoting a little bit of our story to... Um, Kind of bring a little awareness to what others are going through around the world. So um, sit tight, hang tight, uh, and uh, kind of show you our adventure. Um, so uh, anyway, here's my day for today. Probably blue. You're on video. Liz holding her sister. Baby number seven. She's got a little bit of a... A little bit of a cleft lip, but we're doing good. Mommy's doing fine. The, the kids, she was born at 5.30 a.m. on February 28th. What was that? Yeah, we made it for February. Eight and a half inches. So, uh, what they told me is you put the picture. Uh, okay. Nice. 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 Should dim the lights a little bit. All right, so we have 13 and a half for her head. 13 and a half for the head. You're okay. Seven pounds, six ounces. Yeah, I'm 
Seven pounds, six ounces. I will never become a midwife. I don't want to do any of that. So, I mean, it definitely lays just together. Is it going to heal okay? Is this something oh, that you're worried about? And here's a uh, birth cake. Checking her in. And that insurance and ID. Checking her in the hospital and get ready for surgery eventually. Get some nutrition in her. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I already got your signature. Let me just quickly go get her and her in so that we can get her. I get stickers and labels and stuff so she can get her taken up. Okay. I'll be right back. Thank you. Figure out a little video so when she's older we can Dad, show her. Dad, do you want to come with us? <laughs> yeah, you bet. Okay. All right. Excuse me, I don't know if Mom's doing paperwork still, but yeah. either one of you or I'm going to come with us. You want me to go with them? Yeah, okay. I think we're now with the up there. Sounds good. Okay. 
There's only two at a bedside at a time, and one okay. has to be mom or dad. Okay. Do I need a, a wristband or anything like that? Uh, we'll or? work on that after. Yeah, okay. we'll get a wristband. Yeah, night dinner and stuff. It's so I'm weird. I'm going to have, um, I'm just going to so tune all the documents that we learned, yeah. which isn't much. Yeah. Just tune it up to you guys, okay? Yeah. All right. Just getting a little bit of an archive of this so when she's older, we can <laughs> show her. <laughs> How many other kids do you have? I have six other kids. Oh, nice. Also, the other kids will want to see. <laughs> How old your youngest? Our youngest oh, is uh, 18 months, uh, almost so thank two. You. You're welcome. So, thank uh, you. Uh, our, our youngest is probably about 22 months. So I would just say 18 months. <laughs> Don't ask me the exact birthday of her. <laughs> Rebecca can tell you. <laughs> yeah. I've got two and I can't. <laughs> Great, now that's on video. <laughs> <laughs> She's calm, like, going for a ride. She's actually been pretty calm. All right, this is just us putting cake in her to her room. You're hooking up more wires. I haven't had a baby ready to go. Okay. I'm going to take her over and give report and doesn't come back. And sure. Okay, that's fine. Amy's the one getting it. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, breaks my heart. Oh no, dang it. Because she's the biggest baby. If she could latch and get good suction, yeah. she'd probably do fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's 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 fine if it just wasn't for the nutrition. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You're fine. We can't guarantee you the best pictures. Oh, that's fine. Or videos. Oh, I'm just enjoying having stuff to show her when she's older. <laughs> okay, Karen, I'll go grab the scale. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay. There was one point at the last week, kind of at the beginning, that she did drop to like 85. And I just kind of let her, like, I let her just stay just for a few seconds to see, and then she just brought herself right back up. Oh, so good. She was. Because really that's Jesse's biggest concern is what if we take her home? We can't yeah. keep the oxygen yeah. right, you know? Well, that's it. I mean, I know it kind of stinks having a big thing to you, but that is also a good thing. But, you know, when she goes home, 
we will have checked all of those things. Yeah. You know? So it's just, it's a good peace of mind, too. Look at her special X-Men sucking powers. Look at her suck like a champ there. This is a cool bottle that she's on. Yeah, it's called Haberman's nipple. It's a Haberman's nipple. Oh, he squeezes the, the tip, pushes all in. A nice tip in there. It's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I'm glad it's working this well that we are we haven't had a single NG feeding today. Yeah, she's been very good. I can't just spit it all back out, girl. At least it's not coming out of her nose. That is how you feed a cleft baby. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so I've been sharing on Facebook and elsewhere a couple of uh, thoughts of uh, having a baby with cleft palate, which uh, it's been a very interesting experience for us uh, today. We uh, learned a lot and uh, learning a lot about the condition. It's, I, I mean, it's not entirely life-threatening other than the fact that uh, the baby can't swallow and uh, can't breathe. Um, but I'm thinking a lot, I think, I think I really want to start a vlog around our journeys with this to bring a little more attention to the uh, issues many babies are having in, in other countries especially where uh, babies don't have this treatment that we have here. I mean I've complained on and off about Obamacare and um, the uh, Alternative Care Act and uh, the AC, uh, ACA and uh, um, sorry whatever it's called um, and uh, but uh, we really are fortunate here in the USA to have the health care we have now I mean, I'm here in the Jordan River Medical Center, NICU. They're taking great care of our our, our baby here. And uh, if you look over here, you can see that's uh, Juliet right there. Um, um, but she's got all sorts of cool um, devices connected. I'll, I'll, I'll show a little of that in just a minute. But uh, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a lot here about how fortunate we are to have that here. I mean, she'll be fine after we have a couple surgeries and uh, um, I mean, she'll have to go through a lot to do that, which which is no fun for her and take some time. But anyway, that's it, so. So anyway, um, we're blessed to be here in this in this uh, type of environment with, uh, um, with all this equipment and everything. Um, and we'll give you a, a quick tour of all the equipment that is on Juliet here. Um, and th these are things that uh, other countries don't have. They live with these things their entire life in other countries. So let me let me show you my best here. So maybe at some point I'll give you a closer tour here. But um, up here at the top, this is her IV. This feeds her uh, saline and um, uh, basically glucose water or sugar water to, to keep her glucose levels up. Um, we feed her with a little special bottle, which I've shown, um, and, uh, and that uh, basically drips fluid into the back, but she can't get a suction in that mouth uh, uh, because it, it kind of just all comes out the, the sides in here. So, um, so, so we're trying to get her to swallow that, and uh, it'll probably involve some surgery to, to fix that problem um, so that she can swallow a little better. Um, over here, um, and that beep right there is because it can't measure her O2 levels. It's because there's a little, there's this little thing right here, um, which 
goes all the way over here, one of these over here, um, is uh, uh, it's having trouble keeping a solid connection. But, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got the O2 levels here, uh, respiratory levels, um, make sure she's breathing there. Uh, this is blood pressure right here. Um, and uh, got the lights, of course, and they gave us this really cool little little uh, name card here. They decorated it up here in the NICU. And uh, I mean, she's basically here in the NICU, got a nurse here almost 24 seven watching her. Um, like you just can't, you, you don't get that other places. So uh, um, over here we've got, uh, this is the pump for the IV and there's the IV fluid up there and that goes all the way down into I keep on color Emily or others but uh, um, what's her name <laughs> Juliet um, but uh, I mean that's I mean she's got all these cords on her but I mean think of the blessing this really is here and that that, uh, that we've got this opportunity it does this doesn't have to be a life threatening situation for her I mean, there's, that's, uh, that's where she stands. That was the first day. Are we feeding her tonight or not tomorrow? No, she's been eating. She's been eating. Yeah, she's been eating. She's that trooper. She is. We're all. Are we using the the Haberman? Fantastic. How was How was your first day? Uh, long, stressful, but good. Yeah. Glad she's in good hands. Mom is a trooper. That's for sure. Yeah. We need to go home and clean up vomit. What are you talking about? <laughs> Day's not over yet. Uh, uh, oh, brother. So this right here was the start of my day. This flash right here. I had a uh, broken flash earlier. Um, wouldn't work. And uh, so I went out and bought a new flash. Spent $300 or so on it. And right at home, really excited. Got it. Got it in this nice, pretty case right here. And uh, I even used it a little bit. Um, but then I put it down and uh, um, I had both flashes at the time. And I get home and, uh, and then I f kind of forgot about it for a month. And I actually threw the uh, old flash, or what I thought was the old flash, away. Come to today and uh, need a flash so I can shoot nice pictures of the baby's birth and open it up, pull it out, flip it on. And I think the LED turns on cool. I wait, 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 and nothing turns on. I'm like, what's going on? Turns out I threw away a $300 good flash and kept this bad one. So, I'm out $300 and I'm not happy. Nice start to the day, <laughs> the day of my daughter's birth. Anyway, that is um, my probably my biggest frustration of the day. <laughs> Gotta keep things in perspective here, but uh, we'll figure it out. Um, anyway, that's... Uh, that's my fun little adventure um, beyond, uh, oh, having a baby. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll, we'll get another flash and get it going. Maybe I can do a review for Canon or something like that. We'll see if, if I can convince them of that. No, wait, there's more. So like my stuff and subscribe if you want to see more. You don't want to miss it. Like it and subscribe.